Hello Libra, it's time for your weekly love reading. How's everyone doing? This is your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. 13th through the 19th of April. Yes, I know today is the 13th, but mom here, well, I've had my hands full. I have, so I'm running a little behind on readings, but here it is. So we're gonna concentrate on love. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. Everything you need to know about the reading is in the description box below, as well as the link to the extended reading, if you choose to do so. All right, let's see what's coming in. Libra, in love, 13th through the 19th, 2020. I am using the Tarot Grand Lux. And to clarify, I'm gonna use the Light Sears Tarot. I love it, I'm obsessed with it. If you hear background noise, I apologize. It's just the way things are now. My dog has a bone and she's chewing it. She's a Leo. All right, coming in right now, Libra. What's the energy? It's the Page of Pentacles. All right, let's move you down. What's the influence or the challenge? It's the Two of Wands in reverse. What's on your mind, Libra? It's the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Aquarius, could be your energy as well, air energy. What happened in the recent past? We have the four, I had to look at it. We have the four coin in reverse. What's the reason for the reading? Oh, it's daddy with a wand. King of wands, Leo Sag, Aries energy. All right, all right. If it's not a fire sign you're connecting with, it's just somebody that's, you know, a go-getter. Passionate, action, takes charge. You know, I've dated a king of wands. Look, they're attractive. What can I say? They dress nice. They, you know, they're charming. I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but that's a king of wands. Come into the near future. You'll experience the page of cups. All right, Libra. How do you see yourself right now? Well, it's you. The two of swords in reverse. That's your card, Libra. All right. Outside influences coming your way is the fool, son of Aries. What's going on in your emotions? It's the eight of coin. All right, and what's the outcome in love? What do we have? The 10 of coin in reverse. All right, all right, all right. Right away, I'm getting the energy here of maybe a newer connection, which I know sounds crazy because, well, who can really get out and meet new people? This may have already happened, and the, this is the energy moving forward. And also remember to look back at readings like a month or so down the road. I mean, eventually this bullshit's going to clear. as I vape. So this could be what's headed in. I've got a lot of new energy here. It's just what I'm feeling. What's at the bottom of the deck? What is it? It's justice in reverse. There's your major arcana. That's a Libran energy. All right. So an imbalance right now, which also makes sense. Justice doesn't always have to mean somebody's fucking you over. By the way, I say bad words. If it's offensive, hard left, but you know, hang out. But justice in reverse, uh, some of you divorced somebody, maybe, or going through a divorce or something like that with justice in reverse, or you just don't feel balanced right now. I'm not getting, we'll clarify it, I'm not getting somebody screwed you over or you screwed somebody over, something didn't go your way, something like that. You know, justice in reverse, yes, an injustice, but it can also talk about there's no balance right now. And it's like, welcome, welcome to Corona. I mean, you know, a lot of things aren't balanced right now. So the reason for the reading, though, is this King of Wands. All right, we're going to start clarifying. So again, I'm using the Light Sears Tarot to clarify. Libra, your love life, 13th through the 19th of April 2020. What is up? All right, so I'm getting some uh, Aries energy here, too. It doesn't have to be, but I got the Fool coming in external to you. And then the reason for the reading is the King of Wands. So it could be an Aries. All right, Libra, let's do this. Let's see what the hell is going on. Somebody commented that my readings were too positive lately. And then when you don't sugarcoat it like the Leo reading and you tell the truth, you get a lot of thumbs down. So you can't please everybody. All right, let's do this. The overall energy, we've got justice in reverse. So there you guys are. What's, why is justice in reverse? The seven of cups, because there's a lot going on. And I said that earlier, right? The seven of cups, I mean, look at it. I'm just like, what the hell do I do? Which one do I choose? It can be a haze. It can be, there's just a lot of shit going on and everybody's confused right now. And it's making you feel like kind of all over the place, like things aren't going your way. But coming in right now, we have a page of coin. This can be a newer connection, an investment. You know, communication, but it's young. It's kind of just a breadcrumb. 
What is this about? Could be messaging someone, communicating. What do we have? The page, another page. Page of cups in reverse. Some of you are dealing with somebody that's, like there's an age difference. Oh, my dog, the Aries says, hells yeah. Uh, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Somebody that's kind of guarded with their emotions too. They might be a little bit immature, but I don't know. Getting that. I got this king of wands here. What's this page of cups in reverse? Why is this here? What is it? Ooh, okay, the devil. I like that devil though. He says, come here. And I would say, okay. Capricorn energy and Capricorn with the page of coin. All right, I'm getting there's a very strong attraction here. The devil doesn't have to just be restrictions. I mean, he's like, come hither. Could you refuse me? I mean, I don't know. I couldn't refuse him with that hair. So I just feel like there's a very strong magnetic attraction here, but the overall energy between you or it will be with this person is shit. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You know what I mean? Now the challenge or the influence is the two of wands in reverse. You might be at a distance from them. That might be why there's the imbalance and the eight of swords in reverse. I feel like some of you in the past, you let go. You released yourself, no, no longer felt trapped or stuck to a situation where somebody was either at a distance or there was just this lack of movement. Somebody couldn't get off the lawn chair and make a decision. What's this for a coin in the reverse happening? Why did that happen? Well, we've got the eight of cups in reverse. Somebody let go or no longer was holding on. There's no value here, but the other person couldn't walk away. Now, this could be somebody opened up too, though. What's this eight of cups in reverse? Why did this happen in the past? The king of pentacles. All right, daddy. We got two kings here. I'm getting for some of you, there's a, man, I'm reading for two Librans here. Some of you have new love coming in. Some of you are going through a separation, like you're married to this person and you're confused about what to do here because there's an imbalance, but somebody let go and the other person didn't and still wanted it, wanted the stability. The King of Pentacles is achieving a goal. The King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and we've got Capricorn here, was, you know, that King is all about the stability and he's usually married, he's a father, like he's like the real deal. And, you know, he's loyal. You can rely on that energy. Damn, Libra, how many Kings are gonna show up? We got every King here. King of Swords, that could be your energy, but shit. We got Earth and Air showing up here. What did we do with this King of Swords here in the past? What did we do with it? The Three of Swords in a Okay, was there more than one decision to be made? Somebody you let go of and somebody you couldn't walk away from, or they couldn't let go of you. You guys had a decision between two people here. Did you leave somebody for somebody else, Libra? Perhaps because of confusion and options with the Seven of Cups? Okay, that's what I'm getting. And there's a strong ass connection. It's it's on the newer side. And it's after letting another connection go. Wow, okay. This is you or them. Take it out, it resonates. On your mind is, ah. <laughs> Whenever I see the, the Knight of Swords, I think, ah, because it's very rushed energy. It's kind of like acting on your impulses, right? What's this Knight of Swords? What's this about? Rushing into something. Yeah, see, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Libra, you have more than one option. Somebody you left and went towards somebody else, you could have been newly divorced and then your options opened up. There's a strong ass connection here with somebody, but you're kind of like, ah, oh, what do I do? Like you either want to get the hell out of Dodge or move quickly towards somebody, but there's more than one person involved. What's this three of pentacles in reverse? What is this? The four swords. So you're just going to think about it. <laughs> That's your card. Libra energy. Let me just take a nap on this. I don't know, in this bird's nest and think about love with the heart next to me. Who do I want? Who do I want to pick? What's this four swords about? Why is this on your mind? Why is this on Libra's mind? What is it? Yeah, the ace of pentacles. Who do I want this new beginning with? I'm getting old and I'm getting new and you don't know what the hell to do. Now, the found, in the foundation, we have a, a king of wands. We have a daddy with a wand. What does he want? Male or female, doesn't matter. What is this? Four of Pentacles again in reverse. Look, if you're dealing with a fire sign, this is the person that you're probably letting go, but they want you. 
there's a lot of passion here, even if it's not a fire sign. Somebody's really attracted to you and wants to take action, but I think you're letting go. You may have been holding on to them at one point. Yeah, look at that, Knight of Swords. I mean, if he's not getting the hell out of Dodge, I don't know who is. Look how fast he's running. Fast as moving Knight in the deck. That's you guys, probably too. Could be a Gemini or an Aquarius. Yep. I wanna see, give me more info on this devil. Who's this devil? Who is it? The Fool, someone new, I'm telling you. You know, it's interesting. I had my chakras cleansed the other day because you wouldn't imagine, you wouldn't believe all the negativity that likes to come my way on this channel. People don't want good things for you, Libra, sometimes. So I have to take that energy and make it take a hard left by getting my chakras cleansed. And my aura is blue green, which is typically like very healing energy. It's like a healer. But look, blue green. That just made me think of that. I digress. This is a newer connection. I got Aries energy there too. All right, this is an interesting reading. This is all happening because of this King of Wands whom you've probably let go or they let go of you or somebody that, you know, just had a lot of passion and you're getting the hell out of Dodge because I think you have somebody else on your mind. Coming in, you'll experience the Page of Cups. Why? What is this about? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Well, shit. New love, Pisces energy typically for me. Somebody could come in with an apology to somebody that you already dealt with, but you deem this energy or person as a big fat waste of time or disappointment. The world, yeah, you're going to end it with somebody. You've reached the as far as you can go. You've reached a goal here. You've gone as far as you can go. But that major con, it's 21. It's the end of the cycle, all right? So expect some sort of communication, but it's with somebody you don't want, and there's somebody else you do want. Right now, you're the two of swords in reverse. You've made your decision. What's this about? Why is Libra the two of swords in reverse? Because of the hermit in reverse. Maybe the person you want's the one from the past. Maybe you know you want somebody or you're knocking this person out. What's this uh, out of your life? Oh, okay, the Hierophant, sign of Taurus. Virgo, Taurus, you, two of swords, you. You see things clearly. You've made a final decision about somebody here, and you want long-term with this person. All right. Tell me more about the Hierophant. Why? The Tower? Maybe you've already had an ending with them or a breakup. Scorpionic energy. You've had this epiphany. What's this about? What's this about? The Nine of Pentacles. Yep. You've gotten rid of something, someone here. You've had a divorce or a breakup, and you're going towards somebody else. I think you've cut the past out and you see that clearly, but somebody's trying to come in is what's happening and you're focusing on new. Am I confusing the hell out of you yet? All right, let me recap real quick because this reading was all over the effing place. You had a decision to make or they did about you. A couple different people, they're kings, so they were like mature energy. You cut somebody out. You may have been married to them or in a divorce you wanted or married or in a long-term commitment and you couldn't decide who, what, what energy, where do I go, where do I go? There's an injustice. You're, you feel like you're going to hurt somebody or treat somebody badly. Somebody doesn't get treated fairly in this scenario because there's more than one person. There's options and you're confused. I think it's you because you're justice. Libra. Coming in, there's an investment. It's newer with the full energy and there's a strong attraction with the devil Capricorn energy. And on your mind, you're just you're impulsive. You're like, ah, what do I do? You're rushing out. Or you're rushing into something but you're withdrawing from the other person to go towards the new thing with the Ace of Pentacles. This is all happening because there's a very strong attraction, but you're letting go of somebody else and you're getting out of Dodge with that uh, Knight of Swords. That's also you, okay? You've decided, you see it clearly, you've made the decision, you wanna be free from someone, you wanna be away from somebody and you've broken up with them or divorced them, all right? And they're gonna come in and try to apologize, but you're done. All right, energy headed your way is the fool. Why? The ace of wands in reverse. Okay, so the, the newer person that you have this very strong attraction to, just be careful that it's not just like passion and it dies out quickly, right? It could be like a sex only type thing. This is the newer relationship or the newer connection probably. And I know what you're all saying. We have, Corona, nobody can get near anybody. Well, then look at this in a month. I'm telling you, this is the energy in your environment coming in. It could kind of start quickly and end quickly because of the Page of Wands. See, there's that fire energy. Also, too, if, if this is a fire sign, the newer connection, you're kind of you're letting go of somebody else. You're headed out and you're you're moving towards this fire sign. You've got the Page of Wands in your environment too. 
All right, a lot of you have a newer connection that's a uh, fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or you're letting go. I think this is probably the newer connection. That page of wands, though, is young. Again, you're getting all these pages because it's like young and kind of immature. So just watch that energy that it's not just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Or maybe that's okay. I mean, hell, at this point, I mean, just wear a mask. Instead of a condom, wear a mask. I don't know. Judgment. Second chances, too. This is like, you also have this person from your past. It's like, but wait. In your emotions, you're the eight of coin and the ace of swords. See all these aces? This new, it's it's a breakthrough here. Aquarian energy. You've decided to put work into something here. All right. But you got somebody from the past that's still kind of lingering around. And then you've got like a hot new connection. Tell me more about the devil. I don't know why I'm drawn to this. Yeah, two of cups. See? It's either a Capricorn or it's a newer connection that you have a badass chemistry with. Remember, this could be predictive. Now, the outcome is the ten of coin in reverse. So, again, this could be a divorce or a breakup. What's this about? The three of wands because you've got your, set, your sights on something else. I'm getting, like, this whole energy of uh, I'm done with that. Cross watchers, I don't care. Thumbs down. I really don't care. The th Y'all don't see the thumbs downs because I hide them because people try to be nasty. That's how people try to, those low vibrational people come in and they try to, that's their like F you to the reader if they don't like what they hear, the energy. But this is Libra's reading, so, you know. But you got, because you guys have your sights on something else. The three of wands can be manifesting, picking a direction, you know, after a breakup or a divorce. I'm getting very much, you kind of just get out there doing your thing. You're having like a, a very passionate connection. It may not lead to long term, but you know, whatever. Again, Page of Pentacles, you might even work with this person or did work with them before the damn Corona. Page of Pentacles, again, newer connection, kind of young, you know, kind of immature, but you know, what else? Five of Wands, yeah, there's competition, no shit. So that's what I have for you, Libra. It's kind of like out with the old and in with the new, and it, it kind of lifts your spirits. But just be careful because I feel like maybe this newer connection, while it's hot and heavy and the devil's involved, I mean, there's a strong connection. You know, I also feel like it may not lead to long term, but it might just tickle your pickle or your fancy, whatever the terminology is. And then you also have a past person who's still kind of obsessed with maybe holding on to you, but you're doing your own thing from that connection. All right, I'll see you over on Vimeo for the extended reading. I mean, which one do we pick? Whose energy do we dive into, Libra? I guess we'll see. If not, loving you hard, love me hard back. We'll speak soon, take care.